everyone. I am really excited today because I have been sent these gorgeous pens as a lovely gift from Trudy. So thank you, Trudy. I have thanked you, but I'm thanking you now again because they look absolutely gorgeous. Now, these are um, Sakura Jelly Rolls. Now, you may know if you've watched videos before that I've got their metallic set, which are absolutely gorgeous. Now, these are the glitter pens. I initially thought the colours were the same. I'm just going to do that so you can see. So I sort of looked along this colour and thought they were the same, but actually they are quite different. There's a black one, for example, in the metallic. We don't have that in the glitter. Anyway, I just thought that we would have a go at trying them out. Now, I always think it's really nice when you're using um, glitter pens to try them out on both white and black paper just to see how they work. So I have this lovely book which I was gifted called Elegant Elephants Day and Night. We have black and white on the pages, so I thought it would be a really good thing to do to use these on both the black areas and the white areas. Now, I think they're probably going to show it better on white, to be honest. And I have been told, just a quick aside, that Prismacolor pencils work really good well on black paper. So I'm going to experiment with that at some point. But at the moment, let's open up this um, pack to figure out how oh <laughs> I don't want to break the plastic I think I'm doing something wrong oh, there's a sort of tab there hmm. I think I've got it there we go okay so we've got all the colours I'm just going to work through them here let's just pop them into shot so we can see everything that's going on let's come out a little bit now i'm going to pop my lamp on now i didn't have it on before because it really glares off the plastic packing when i had it in the middle of the shot so i sort of turned it off but now we we'll want to be able to see it let's just lift up that corner and pop out the first pen so each of these has a little number a hashtag number on it you can't see i'm too far away but that means i think you can buy them individually by these numbers so I will tell you the number and then if you really like the color you might be able to go and have a hunt for it so this is 703 and it looks like a gold to me so I'm going to do a couple of flower middles with this so I thought I would do this one here with it and just see whether it stands out on the black oh, I'm just getting it going a little bit oh, I can hear some banging Someone's obviously repairing a fence or something. Not sure. My workmen aren't here. That's why I'm able to record. Um, I'm just going to do all these. I don't know if it's... I hope it's not too disturbing. But um, I am... Um, my... It's a Friday and the workmen finished a little bit early. I think I got them into trouble. I feel really bad. Um, when they'd finished I phoned their boss to find out whether they were coming in to work on Monday because it's a bank holiday on Monday um, and um, he said no and I said oh it's looking really nice I'm really happy with what they've been doing and I've just cleaned up and he said have they gone then and I was like ah oh, because they left early I'm just gonna go and see what that banging is hold on it's my neighbour. He's constructing something out the front of the house. So we've got our second pen. So yes, I, he said, have they gone? And I went, uh, yeah, but they couldn't continue because they were missing some equipment. He went, yeah, I know, but they've gone. And I was like, oh, so I feel really bad now. So I hope I haven't got them into trouble. So this looks kind of orangey. This is number 705. So, uh, oh, just a little hint. If you're looking for the... These pens have a little shooting star on, which means stardust. And the stardust are the glitter range. There are different ranges, and I know it can get a little confusing. I'm going to use this one on the inside of this flower here. I can hear a dog barking now. It's all going on here this afternoon. It's Friday afternoon as well. I think people will be chilling a little bit, or maybe just getting things done so they can chill at the weekend, I guess. But yeah, I feel really bad. So uh, they've done loads, you know, because it's quite exciting. The um, 
the delivery of the kitchen actually had to be delayed a day, which wasn't too much, you know, grand scale of things. Um, we had a day when the um, workman had to leave early. Um, oh, I can't remember. One, oh, one of them's wife was pregnant and she had to go off to the hospital, so he had to go with her. For, um, she, she was poorly. She got called. Uh, thankfully, she was fine. But she's been having a few issues with her... Um, She's got anemia and things, so she's struggling a little bit. But all was well. But they all left early because um, one of them couldn't dr one of them, only one of them could drive, and he had to take him. And the other one would have been stranded here because where they are based is quite a long way from from here. And obviously, they need a van for all their kit. So anyway, they left early, so we sort of missed half a day. And we also had half a day when things went a bit slow. There was no boss around. He was poorly. And I think they just took it a bit easy. And that was, you know, it's fine. Now, this one is sort of red. Okay. And this one is hashtag 719. The numbers don't seem to make any sense. Um, they are on the back here. I don't know how clear that is. But it's got the numbers underneath each of the colours. The dark ones are really hard to see. I'll just keep telling you and hopefully that will be useful. I'm going to do these petals here with this one. Now I don't know how well you can see um, how it's standing out on the black. Um, it depends whether it's in the light or not. I was going to show you at the end and sort of tip the book back and forth a bit. So hopefully you'll be able to see and decide. This looks quite pinky on here. That's okay. I'm going to do the whole of this flower, so you have to bear with me. I continue talking about my um, workman. So, yeah, so anyway, so they got a little bit behind. So the delivery was a day late, and um, it came yesterday, and I had no idea where they were going to put it all. My father-in-law was like, oh, just leave it in your garden. I was like, what if it rains? We're in the UK. But luckily, um, they put some of it outside on my neighbour's drive for a little while while they fitted some of it in. And then they uh, pop the rest inside and they um, managed to put it in so that I could still get to my fridge, <laughs> which was useful. And then um, today they didn't have to move, much, they didn't have to move it back out. They managed to work around it and they've got a lot of the cabinets done. They have put up all the um, floor standing cabinets seem to be in place from what I can tell. Um, in the main part of the kitchen. That is quite pinky. It's very pretty. I don't know whether I should be zoomed in a bit more, but I don't I don't know. I'm gonna leave it like this. Um <clears throat> so the um cabinet's all in place. Um the um um the wall cabinets, some of them are up but they haven't got all the fittings for all of them so they couldn't put all of them up. So that's all they've done really. But in a day and a half, because the delivery wasn't until midday yesterday, I think that's quite impressive. They also leave quite early because they're not based in this town. It takes some time to get home and they're paid from the minute they leave the work office type thing. So their travel time is included in their in their day. And it's fine. I don't mind. I mean, it would be lovely to have a dishwasher plumbed in and to have a cooker. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we knew that we would have to, you know, do this. Um, you have to go through these things to get the reward. So uh, that's uh, that's how it is. But uh, it, we've now got our three-day weekend. I can't actually remember what the date is today. I was going to tell you so that you could sort of work out in context because this video is going out in October, probably the very beginning. I'm not entirely sure. Um and I'm talking to you in September. I haven't got a date in here, I've only got a clock. So I don't know what it is. But if, if I, if you're in the UK, you'll know that if I say it's the Friday before the bank holiday Monday, you'll know when I, where I'm at. And if you're not in the UK, you won't know. But um, anyway, um, yeah, so we're um, sort of looking forward to having a long weekend in a way. Obviously, it's not a nice circumstance to have a bank holiday. But um, to have, I'm exhausted, I have to say. Right, I'm moving on to a pink. I'm just looking at my picture to decide where to put this one. This one looks pink. It's number 720. 
Now I think I want these flowers up here to look be red and orange like this one. But then do I do all of them the same? Yeah, I think I will. So I'm going to move on to this flower here. Can you see in the trunk? Let's probably going why isn't she zoomed in there we go that you can see how pretty the um colors are on there so oops i'm straightening her up a little bit her i think her and do a bit of pink here for you to see that's pretty shade i'm not a pinky person but i like that pink um yeah but it's exhausting Basically, I thought, oh, it'll be lovely. I'll have the workman here all day. I'll just be able to chill and colour all day and it'll be lovely. But, and yes, I sort of have the opportunity to do that. But there always seems to be something to do. The questions to answer and things to do, that's fine. Obviously, I need to make decisions. This is number 721. It looks like a pinky purple to me. I'm going to try it here. Oh, we didn't try the pink on the, um, on here. I know where. Down here, we do it on these two because I said I wanted those all to match, so I won't do it on those. I do it in the middle bit here. Um, yeah, because it's hard to explain. Like the kitchen is on the ground floor, and there's a cloakroom on the ground floor, and that's it for our ground floor. So every time I want to go to the fridge for anything, we have to take a tray with us and go down and carry it up to the first floor where we've got our temporary kitchen. Our first floor, our temporary kitchen, I know in America you call your ground floor your first floor. Up our first set of stairs, that floor, we have our sitting room, which is a through room, a lounge diner sort of room. We don't use it as a lounge diner, we use it as a lounge office. So we've got all our computers in there. It's like our room that we always spend time in. And um, this is number 721. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to come out or else I'm going to forget like that so we can see the white and the other. Um, so we've got our kettle, our microwave, a table, um, all the cups and, kettle and toaster and everything in that room. But there's no tap on that floor. So every time we need to fill the kettle, we have to go upstairs to my bathroom, ensuite bathroom, which has got the deepest sink to fill a kettle, to wash up, everything else. Now, there's a limit to how much stuff you can carry on one tray, particularly me. I'm not, I'm not very good on stairs. I get a bit of vertigo, so when I stand on top of a staircase, I sometimes feel really wobbly. So I don't want to be standing there with a huge, heavy tray. So I pace myself. This is number 724. This is a purpley colour. So I pace myself, and I tend to um, go in small journeys, but that means that Washing up takes quite a long, quite a lot of journeys up and down the stairs. It can be quite exhausting, and having all the noise all the time. As lovely as they are, they've got a radio blaring, they're drilling, banging, blah, you know. And of course, that's got to happen. But I've got to be here because they've got questions. They're in and out. They drive down to the shop to buy pasty or whatever, and leave the front door wide open. You know, someone's got to be here. So I have found it very tiring. So having three days where it's just going to be family in the house and quieter and people helping me with the washing up. Number 738. Now I realise I'm sounding like a bit of a moaner and I know that some people have to hand wash their washing up all the time because that's what they do. I'm trying to decide where to put this colour. I'm going to do it on the ears in these circles. Um... But I'm not used to it. And also the table in the um, sitting room where I prepare food, I sort of chop salads and things because you know, I can't really cook very much, just got the microwave, um, is, is a ta normal table. So it's too low. So it's a bit back breaking. So my back's quite sore, carrying trays up and down stairs. The sink, fortunately, where I'm washing up is a good height. Um, because of our ensuite bathroom is over the stairs, you have the cupboard that the sort of cabinet the sinks on had to be high. It was brilliant because we're all tall, we like a nice high sink. It made it when the children were little, they couldn't use it, but that was good. <laughs> it's ours, get out! <laughs> My son uses it all the time now, monkey. 
but um, anyway. And I looked how dark this is on the black. It's probably a bit too dark. You can see the sparkle by tip, yeah? But it, it's a bit dark on the black. I don't really think these are the right pens to go on the black. But I'm having fun and I think it's going to look nice just with the sparkle anyway. I'm going to have to... Um, I'll be spreading glitter everywhere when I uh, when I finish. Now what I find a little bit awkward about these is you've got the white line. Now do you colour over the white line and then you get a bit more of the colour showing up look like this look? Or do you leave the white line white as a sort of accent? I, I don't know. Or I have seen this book coloured so that people only colour over the white line. They don't fill in the black area, which is interesting. And I may do some like that as well, just, just to do something a bit different and interesting. You know, I'm going, I need to go back over all those white lines now with this. I can't have it not all the same. But um, I'm sort of hoping that by the time this video goes out, that we're actually might have a working kitchen. Um, which would be nice. Um, the plan, as far as I can tell from looking at the plan, now I don't know how far behind they're going to get before it's all finished because you know these things, there was a delay. The plan at the moment is that the floor is going to be laid on the 30th of September. So if this is that's the case, then when this video goes out, um, the floor will have been laid. But there will probably still be things to do. Now that was supposed to be a slightly purpley pink, according to the picture on the box. But it looks quite blue to me. But this one looks blue as well. So this is number 736. I'm going to do these circles here in this one. I don't know how I'm going to colour this ele elephant in what colour. Or I might leave him white with sort of sparkly highlights. I really don't know. He or she. I said she earlier, didn't I? Can't make up my mind. So here we go. Now what I like, I should really be talking about the pens a little bit now. What I like about the Sakura pens, and it's the same with the metallics, is that although the nibs aren't huge, I don't know what they are, I don't know if it says, they, a lot of colour comes out. Um, a lot of gel, I mean, so they don't feel, they feel very juicy is the word I think I've heard people use. They don't feel dry. What I don't like is gel pens that are dry and scratchy and these are definitely quite the opposite of that. I also am sure I read somewhere that Sakura, who make the jelly rolls, invented the gel pen. I don't know if I'm right. I'm sure I read that somewhere. But, you know, sometimes I dream things and it's all nonsense. <laughs> Am I the only person that does that? Anyway, um, we have another blue here, but I think it's going to be a bluey green. This is number 725. Um, I'm going to do the bit on the top of the head with this, I'm thinking. Um, and if it is blue, it won't matter, but I think it's going to be greeny. Oh, it looks quite blue. But again, we've got three different shades of blue. So we've got this blue and this blue and this blue. Interesting. This looks like it could be a nice sort of water colour. I don't mean water colour. I mean colour for water. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> so anyway, um, I find them... I have run out a few Sakura pens. They don't last forever. Um, but whites, because I use the whites ones for highlights and things. Um, so yeah, I've won, run, they, you know, but they do seem to last a fair amount of time, which is what you would expect because they are quite expensive. I'm going to do this little piece under here. Um, but I think they're good value for money, personally. I know you can buy like a hundred gel pens from Castle Arts for quite a cheap price, and I've got that set. But I immediately had to throw a handful away because they just didn't work. And I didn't worry about it because they were so cheap. And then some of them ran out really quickly. Some of them seem really dry and some of them seem less dry. 
it's a bit strange and nibs are also quite small so if you want to color a big area it takes forever so but they are nice for little highlights and if you don't have the money to buy an expensive set of pens i mean i was so lucky i was sent these as a gift they're on my wish list actually i need to take them off i was gonna have them ask for them for christmas this is number 729 from my parents because they always want some ideas um but i'm lucky enough to have them already let's do these um leaves because i'm sure this is a green it is that's good <laughs> So, um, so I'm lucky, but uh, I have got the clear sparkly one, and I'm wondering if that's what the last one is in this in this set. I'm going to test it actually on a blank piece of paper first, because if it is, I'm not going to use it on this page because I don't think I need any clear sparkles. Now let's look. We've got flowers down here, so we're going to put some green in here. Now I can see a bit of colour on the black but not a lot and uh, I'm definitely definitely going to have a go with my prismas and see what happens but I am going to finish this page with the sparkly pens I just the sparkles are just so fun and the sun's just come out it's nice it's a very iffy day my uh, my workmen have put my kitchen door out in the garden um, the kitchen, it had been out overnight actually, the kitchen door um, was getting in the way so I said why don't you just take it off because we want it rehung in the opposite direction, long story, won't go into it, anyway so it opens the other way, it just won't get in the way so much really basically, so um, they took it off because um, I sort of asked, suggested they didn't ask them to and they didn't have anywhere to put it, it's obviously quite a big thing to have hanging around when you've got a million cabinets arriving any minute here is the last green, 727 so, um, so they put it in the garden and uh, it went really really dark <laughs> I was like, can you bring it in please, I think it's going to rain and they went, oh yeah, they're lovely and then as they left, I was like, oh, sorry you brought it in, it didn't rain. They said, actually it did, it was spitting a bit. And they said, it's fine, you never know what the weather's going to be doing in the UK. You know, you need to be careful. So they were very kind. I said, I would have wanted it in for the weekend anyway, because it's a three-day weekend, you never know what the weather's going to do. Hopefully it'll be fine, particularly on Monday. But, you know, here it might not be. It doesn't matter so much. If it's fine in London, that'll be good. You can see this is a slightly lighter green which is more of a yellowy green so that's rather nice now as I say this last one I think it might just be a glitter one rather than having any colour but I'm just going to look at it it's number 744 now I have got a glitter one in my pencil case so I'm just going to have a look for it um, my glitter one is 700 so I think this one might have some colour I am just going to try it on the yeah it's grey, it's silver uh, where should we use it? Um, <laughs> I know. I know. We use it on these sorts of lines here. It's it's an interesting colour. I'm trying to work out quite what colour it is. I don't know if you can hear that noise. My neighbour is doing something noisy outside. Uh, I think it's okay. I thought it would be like he he is a carpenter um, by trade and uh, since I've been having work done he seems to have been motivated to do bits and pieces himself. He is doing a job for somebody I know for sure but uh, it's like it sort of motivates him to get on and do bits and bobs which is fine. I just hope he's not too noisy all weekend. <laughs> but he's very good. He's a lovely lad. I say lad, he's only about 15 years younger than me. And I'm certainly not young, but he's young. Um, we do want a bit on the... Um, I think we'll do these swirls under these leaves. And uh, see how it comes out. I'm going to show you it all a bit differently in a minute so you can have a 
a judge. <laughs> you can judge it. Have a judge. Hmm. Now, so I'm aware that when this video goes out, we're really close to Johanna's book coming out. Now, what I'm going to try and do is get a bit ahead with videos again. Because um, I don't know when I'm going to have decorators in. Um, you know, once the job's finished, main the sort of floor's laid, there's still going to be lots of other bits and pieces to do. So... But I really want to get videos of Johanna's book as soon as possible. But they might be sort of supplemental videos. So here's the bit there. So you can see a bit of the colour that way. And you can see where I've gone over the white. You can see the colour a lot more. But you can still see it. And then when you tip it like that, you can see the shine. And I like these Secura pens because the shine is... Very, now the colour stands out far more on the white and the shine it shows up I think almost just as well on the white as it does on the black I find that really interesting so there it is now I'm going to um, finish that um, at some point and I will share it with you um, on my Facebook or my Instagram yeah but actually I might just finish it and use it because this video isn't going out for a while I'll be able to finish it and use it as the end picture for the video so you can have a look at it I shall do that um, just because um, yeah I'll be able to do that I'll have time to do that um, I have had people saying to me the picture at the end isn't up for long enough before the pop-ups come over now I I'm trying to address that. I'm trying to make the picture last a little bit longer so you've maybe got time to press the pause button if you want to have a really good look. If I leave it up for too long, um, people are going to get bored and switch off before those pop-ups come. And those pop-ups are quite important, particularly for new viewers, because they can click and go to my profile and then they can look at other videos, which is quite nice. Or it suggests it playlists or videos that you can go to afterwards. So it's quite nice to have it there still. Um, I want it there. But I've, if I try and extend the length of time I put the end picture up. Particularly on a page where, like this, where it's unfinished. And you'll be wanting to see the finished page. I'll try and leave it a bit longer. So I am bearing that in mind. It's just not always easy to remember everything <laughs> when I'm editing. And um, also to do it right away because I record in advance but I'm aware of that a couple of people have asked me about it now so I am going to I am trying I try to um I try to improve all the time but you know takes take, takes time to get into new routines and to think about all this anyway I've blarred on for long enough we have quite a strange looking elephant <laughs> a little lopsided but I'm confident that uh, I will get her finished and she will look very pretty so <coughs> excuse me what I may do though is there's um, 12 pens here I may use because there's a lot of greenery here I may use some of my other gel pens for some of it uh, my sparkly ones the castle arts they're not as nice but I feel like I don't want to use these up so I might and it because there's so much green I might need a different green because we've only got two if that makes sense so I may just use a few others so I'm just sort of warning you if you look at it and you think well that's not the same colour it probably isn't because I've probably used a few different ones but I should try and stick with particularly on the elephant where the colours really show up I should try and stick with them there and because uh, like here we've got quite a few stripes which I would like to do in different shades of green and so I may just mix it up a bit we'll see I may not um, it depends how the mood strikes me when I finish this um, probably tomorrow but for now thank you for watching and listening to me chatter on it's so long since i made a video i just can't stop talking <laughs> but thank you for watching um i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and happy coloring